Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. It is the weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. Saturday, the 25th of February, it is National Chocolate Covered Nut Day and National Clam Chowder Day. Probably not great to have those together, though. It doesn't sound like a good combo. Not really, no. Sunday, February 26th, National Letter to Our Elders Day, National Pistachio Day, National Set a Good Example Day, which really should be every day, and National Tell a Fairy Tale Day. All of those things happening. And I'm excited to visit with my guest. Terry J is in a new Peacock series, Paul T. Goldman. And in this series, uh, there's portions of this where it's about her. And it actually sounds like a really fascinating thing. We're going to be chatting with Terry J coming up in just a bit on the weekend edition of the John and Heidi Show. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you could make one change in your life to make yourself happier, what would it be? Your income, your job, your relationship, your health, whatever. What would make the biggest difference? Harvard psychiatrist Dr. Robert Waldinger, I nailed that, is the director (laughs) of the world's longest running scientific study of happiness. And he said, they might have the answer you're looking for. Started in 1938 with 724 patients, they set out to discover what would make people happier. 85 years later, the study now includes three generations, more than 1,300 people, descendants of the original participants, and he's got a book out. It's called The Good Life, Lessons from the World's Longest Scientific Study of Happiness. So what is it? Good relationships. That doesn't mean a romantic partner. It just means people that you know having a good relationship with those people will make a bigger difference in your life than anything else. Some of the other things to help increase your happiness, volunteering, learning to apologize, expressing your love, being willing to be vulnerable, and continuing to learn to grow. So there you go. Huh. Surveys and studies and such. Brought you know what make me happiest? What's that? To be able to eat whatever I want and not Mm. gain any weight. Well, that would be called a magic wand, and I don't have one, so sorry. I know. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at MintIntervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know there was a mermaid documentary? When I say documentary, air quotes around that. uh, That fooled so many people, the U.S. government had to issue a statement. 2013. (laughs) heard this. Animal Planet aired Mermaids. The New Evidence. (laughs) A documentary. But it was really a mockumentary. Right. Proved half human, half fish existed. Oh, that's hilarious. The program was fake, but plenty of the people, 3.6 million viewers that watched it, believed that it was a real thing. So many, the U.S. government's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, uh, released a statement on the website addressing the confusion, saying mermaids, the new evidence, was just entertainment. There's no evidence of aquatic humanoids that's ever been found. End quote. So, yeah, they did a documentary that was a mockumentary, and they made fun of themselves through it so people were supposed to know it was a joke but they didn't realize that and they're like oh oh, there's not well i saw this documentary called splash (laughs) which was amazing by the way all right don't know everything but now we know this Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks is not ashamed of her past work. As director, she was behind beloved audience favorites like Pitch Perfect 2, but also worked on 2019's Charlie's Angels, which is universally considered a failure, sadly. Banks also produced and wrote and starred in the film, accepted its performance with Grace, tweeting at the time, if you're going to have a flop, make it. Make sure that your name is on it at least four times. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, she's got a new project, Cocaine Bear, out February 24th. So that's like right now. 
Uh, Forever Love, Ben Affleck and J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, celebrated their relationship with some permanent body art. Valentine's Day post showed the two of them getting tattoos of the, each other, things with each other. So Okay. And some good news for the fans of the Spider-Man movie series. Marvel Studios president recently confirmed that Tom Holland's fourth movie, movie as the Web Slinger. The script is now written, and uh, Holland's third rousing Spider-Man No Way Home became the first pandemic release to gross over a billion dollars, so it did okay. They also confirmed Deadpool 3 will be the first R-rated movie in the cinematic Marvel universe. So they've got some stuff up their sleeve. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Just read a survey. It says one of the first things a person notices about you is your smile. I know that. I I agree with that completely. One of the things that I really missed when we were wearing masks everywhere is being able to see, because you couldn't tell if people were happy, if they were mad, if they were sad. Right. You know, in your eyes, you can tell a little bit, but no, I really do think uh, it, a smile is a, it improves your face value. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do too, though. I always it notice does. a smile, but I also pay very close attention to eyes. I know. A lot of time you're like, did you see her eyes? Did you see his eyes? Their yeah. eyes were cool. I'm like, beautiful uh, eyes. wasn't really paying attention to their eyes. Uh, Netflix is setting the record straight about the password thing. Because the password sharing restrictions, amid recent reports regarding the eventual introduction of an anti-password sharing measure in the United States, the company has stated that limitations regarding account sharing began rolling out in Canada, New Zealand, Portugal, and Spain February 8th. Netflix did not say when the rules will be introduced stateside, though the co-CEO Greg Peters said it'll happen next month. Netflix users will be able to set a primary location, ensuring that anyone who lives in their household can use their Netflix accounts. As people before were like, well, so if I'm watching something and then my son wants to watch it, we have to have two accounts. If you're in the same house, no. Anyway. What if you go on vacation? That Just listen to the rest here. Okay. You will have an option to add an extra member sub-account for up to two people that don't live in the same household. In Canada... It costs an additional $7.99 per month per person. So I don't know what it will be everywhere else. But uh, anyway, the thing that's interesting is people were freaking out about it and they didn't have any of the details. And now Netflix is trying to put out all the details. And there's some people that are already you know, angry enough that they've already left and they're saying they'll never come back. So here's what I do. We use Netflix once in a while. We rent it for a month. We go in, we sign up for a month, and then during that month, we cancel. We watch everything we want to watch on Netflix for a month, and then anytime I want to watch it again, we just get Netflix again for a month. I think that's the smartest way to do it, so I don't know. Just a little food for thought. Scoop of the day comes your way. Courtesy of John is a cheapskate. (laughs) No, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Our guest this weekend is Terry J. from the Peacock series, Paul T. Goldman. And Terry, tell me a little bit about how you got involved in this series. Well, what happened is is I started doing a reading for Paul way back in 2005. He had just gotten married and was really concerned because his wife was insisting on having her name put on all of his assets. And he thought that was too soon, and she was being insistent on it. And uh, when I tuned into her, she felt kind of, I guess, smarmy would be a good word. Yeah. Like she wanted to get paid for sex, but she didn't want money on the dresser. She wanted his stuff. Oh, yeah. And so I, I shared that information with him, and, and uh, he went about it looking, you know, trying to get a private detective and 
you know, he did all the right things to get, you know, to get her checked out. And um, sure enough, there was evidence that, um, but unfortunately didn't get shared in the, in the series um, of the fact that she definitely was offering her wares, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, he got out of it pretty well unscathed, except for a broken heart. And um, this is just the tale of that journey. And in the series, Paul T. Goldman, D. Wallace portrays you in some of the scenes. What's it like seeing somebody pretend to be you? It was weird. It was really weird. And they did um, have me down there uh, to L.A. to watch her play me. And it was just weird watching things come out of, watching, hearing things come out of her mouth that I had said, you know, originally. And so it was really weird, but, you know, we've become good friends, and, and she is just a treasure. You know, she's Absolutely. really helped me quite a bit. And she she's is amazing. wonderful, wonderful lady. And now you're in this series as well, so there's interviews with you where the real you uh, is the one that's doing the interviews, and then she gets to be you in the uh, reenactments. So you're kind of in this twice then, right? Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of a weird <laughs> thing. I tell people it's a show about making a show about making a show. So that's probably the best way to describe it. And for people who are not familiar with this, it is a very interesting story to follow, isn't it? It really is. I mean, it, you know, how many times do, do people find out that their, you know, new bride is leading a double life? Yeah. You know, it, it's, uh, it's a little spooky, kind of. But um, I think, you know, Paul really just comes out of it on top. You know, he's, he, he goes from being a wimp to a warrior. So I think that, to me, is the best part of the story. Is how it changed him. Now, how long have you been a medium? That's not something you just wake up one day and say, "Hey, I'm going to do this." I've been doing reading since 1990 when I heard a nonverbal child in my horseback therapy program speak to me. But you know, it, it, my, my attention had to be drawn to the fact that, "Hey, wait a minute, he's not talking out loud. How are you hearing him?" And so that was my first experience with it because you know I'm a down to earth Nevada cowgirl. And yeah. so I don't do any woo-woo stuff. And so it was, it was pretty weird, but um, <clears throat> I heard him, and then the suggestion was made to learn to communicate with the horses because it's the same thing. So now I do all types of readings except for predictions and police work. I won't do those two things. Uh, so I can't get the lottery numbers from you? <laughs> no, I couldn't. Hey, if I could get them, I would. <laughs> do, do you have people ask for things like that often? Is that one of the big questions? No. The only thing that's been strange is that um, because of this series, I have a lot of people that are uh, what I want to call old school and unethical, yeah. where they're calling me and tell, saying, tell me what you see. And it's, I won't do predictions. Oh. I, I won't do predictions. Yeah. So they're unethical due to the law of attraction. What What would you say is the most common thing that you've encountered since you started doing this? Um, just just how much help people need, and and that they're stuck, they're disempowered. You know, those things are really important, and and those are things that I love helping people with. You know, getting to use the law of attraction to create the life that they want. That's yeah. so important. You know, we just think we're, you know, we don't have the ability to change our life, and we do in every single moment. So Absolutely. that's been really, really uh, wonderful. Plus, when people find out I'm an animal communicator and a veterinary intuitive, um, they're calling about animals, horses. You know, I've been a horse person my whole life, so... Readings on horses are one of my favorite things to do. I love that. Well, Terry, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it a bunch. Well, thanks for having me on. It was great. Again, the name of the series on the Peacock Network is Paul T. Goldman. I'll throw a link to make it easy to find in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening this weekend. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Better creditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? According to Guinness World Records, the world's heaviest watermelon weighed 350 pounds. Can you imagine that? It's a That's big old a watermelon. heavy watermelon. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Ketchup was once sold as medicine to treat diarrhea and indigestion. Really? The treatment, by the way, <laughs> did not work at all. <laughs> so... <laughs>
<laughs> Try it. Yuck. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In Switzerland, it's illegal to own just one guinea pig because they crave social interaction so much. Aww. Aww. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? When Mary Stewart was just six days old, she became the Queen of Scotland at six days old. Whoa. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it is a lot of pressure. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Seven percent of American adults think chocolate milk must come from brown cows. It, d- wow. it does not, by the way. And our That's final sad. fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Uh, cows can only walk upstairs, not downstairs. So really? Yeah. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Over 95% of people agree this activity is not a good idea on a first date. What is it? (laughs) From the looks on your face, I'm not letting you answer. (laughs) That's not it, by the way. The answer is karaoke. 95% or more people agree Karaoke is not oh, a good I idea. I agree with that day. as well. Here's the thing. I honestly would have to say it depends on who it is. No. If you're on a dating app and they say, I like karaoke, and you go, hey, I like karaoke, why wouldn't you go do that? So, eh. Yeah. Eh. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Uber has added a new audio recording function to their app in Canada. They say it's an option for safety feature. It's an optional safety feature. Okay. So you uh, users can turn on an audio recording in the safety toolkit section of the app. From there, they'll have the option to record audio during the trip. Oh, so the by, user, the yeah. person paying for the ride can. Yeah, by okay. tapping the blue shield icon, both rider and driver can use the feature at any point during the ride, okay. so the drivers can too. Okay. Recording automatically stops shortly after the ride ends, or users can start and stop it themselves. The company said they hope this feature will, quote, give riders and drivers peace of mind by encouraging comfortable and positive interactions while on trips, end quote. Here's the thing. If you feel like you need to record to get in the vehicle, if you feel like you need to do that for your safety, maybe you shouldn't be getting in that vehicle. Well, the, I don't know. I mean, it just the, seems you odd. know what, though? There have been so I many know. stories of, of they should getting be checking. In a vehicle. Yeah. All of that should be, there should be higher standards. I'm just saying, again, if you have to do something like this to make people, quote, feel safe, they're probably not safe. Just saying. Yeah. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Highest paid entertainers last year. Genesis, $230 million. Sting, $210 million. Tyler Perry, $175 million. Trey Parker, Matt Stone, that's the South Park guys, $160 million. Taylor Swift, only $92 million. James Avatar, by the way, $95 million. Rolling Stones, $98 million. And Brad Pitt, $100 million. Uh, James L. Brooks, Matt Groening from uh, Simpsons, $105 million. Somehow I, I scrolled past and missed several here. And, oh, Bad Bunny made $88 million. So how in the world? Okay. Is that just, it says endorsement deals with Corona, Cheetos, and Adidas. So, and also I guess there was a bullet train with Brad Pitt. So okay. that just seems, I can't believe that Bad Bunny is on the list of the top 10 highest paid entertainers in 2020. 
22. I think we should start a GoFundMe for Taylor Swift. Yeah, we probably should. I don't know how she's making it. <laughs> On just 92 million. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Rodney Dangerfield quote again today. I'm a big fan, so you get Me those too. a lot. Me uh, too. Rodney Dangerfield said, when I was a kid, my parents moved a lot, but I always found them. <laughs> 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 that is funny stuff. I don't care who you are. Isn't it funny? It's I love hilarious. It. Yeah. Rodney Dangerfield quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com, and I think this is really kind of a neat story. Think about how many people you know who maybe they're like a writer, and they've got a book that they want to do, and they, you know, it's something they've always wanted to do, and then they do it, and it just doesn't do what they want it to do. Like, it's not a huge hit. Well, take a listen to this. Man's novel becomes a bestseller 11 years after its release, thanks to his daughter on TikTok. So TikTokers helped a man's dream come true by purchasing his first novel and making it a bestseller 11 years after it was published. Okay. Lloyd DeVrau Richards is now a bestselling author. He spent 14 years writing a novel about an FBI agent trying to unmask a serial killer. He spent over a decade hoping his novel would take off, and it just never did. And then his daughter, Marguerite, posted a TikTok back on February 8th, encouraging people to go out and buy this. And since he did that, uh, since she did that, rather, um, he has sold over, uh, the the book is, uh, I'm sorry, start back here again. The video has garnered over 44 million views, 10 million likes, and he has sold a whole bunch of books. It's the number one on the bestsellers list. It was sold out on Amazon. And there's a really cute, cool video where she is showing him this video and all these things that people are saying and all the kind words. And people are loving the book, too, from the sounds of it. So uh, I think that's really cool. He just says, I feel blessed. I'm very grateful. I'm very happy. He said, I just can't believe it. So the thing that's really neat is this is something that he's always wanted to do. Right. And it sounds like the book was really good, but he didn't have... The PR team right. to do, think about to how much there is know. involved in it. Yep, that. for sure. And uh, I do have a link to the book. I have a link also to the story if you want to see the story and see the videos. I'm not on TikTok, but I know there are folks that are on there. This young lady is uh, Stone Maidens on TikTok. But I've got a link to all of that stuff in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.